everybody, it's Amy Rich with amyrich.net. Today I'm going to feature the Hello Harvest bundle, which is found on page 49 of the JD22 mini catalog. And we are going to be using both the stamp set and the dies for that today. And I featured these items as well as the designer series paper in a recent blog post. And you can see some of the cards I've made with these items. These are note cards. And here are the dies and, of course, the Hello Harvest stamp set. So for the pumpkin here, I used three of those dies to create that pumpkin. And then the leaves. And I love the banner. So the stamp fits perfectly inside the banner. Or you can choose to just use the banner and stamp a different sentiment in there like that. I do love how beautifully these um, stamps and dies go together and things that they create, I fall in love with every single time, I feel like. So we have a bunch of the dies that cut out coordinating images from the stamp set, but then we've also got what I call bonus dies. And the bonus dies are things that don't cut out an image uh, from the stamp set, but they are great on their own. Today we're going to use a couple of the curlies, um, but we are going to use this pumpkin as well. So let's get started with our black ice card for today. I haven't done black ice in a while, so I thought I'd give it a try. Quite a few years ago, I featured the black ice technique in a techniques class. And typically what we did was we created a technique card like this with instructions at the bottom. And then we created a greeting card using something similar as we did on the technique card. And I'm going to follow the instructions on the technique card. You can see them written out on my blog post that I have um, linked below in the description of the video. And you do need some foil paper for this. And I decided I'm going to grab some brushed metallic cardstock from our catalog, annual catalog, page 139. And you can see the brushed metallic here. It comes in, I'm going to bring it out so you can see it. It comes in copper, gold, and um, bronze. So those three colors come in that pack, and it's so pretty. I decided to use that, but I'm also going to use a piece of just regular copper foil for this card today as well. So we're going to start with a piece of three and three quarters by three and three quarters of the brushed bronze card stack. I am going to raise this up for just a little bit here while we do some embossing. So I'm going to bring in my big boss. I'm going to use um, plate number one. That's the base. And then I'm going to use the leaves fall, fall leaves 3D embossing folder. And I'm going to stick my piece of brushed metallic cardstock in there, leaving just that bottom right hand corner with no leaves. So we're going to mostly um, have leaves on our metallic, which will be really super pretty. And what we have, like I said, is just gorgeous. So now we are going to do the black ice um, technique on this instead of on a piece where we would stamp the inside. It's always a good idea when using this technique to bring in um, just a tabletop protector. And then we're going to use our Jet Black Stays On ink pad. And we're going to drag the ink pad across our metallic paper. Now what you're going to notice is that the top edge is going to get um, those brushed um, black brushed look there at the top, but also the leaves here are going to really pick that up. So I've gone from the top down. Now I'm going to go from the bottom up. So I'm going to do the same thing, except this time starting at the bottom. So you're going to get those streaks of black throughout um, the image, plus those highlighted leaves there. So then we are going to just give it a little heat because we want that to be dry and not smudge when we go on to the next part of 
the black ice technique. So when we do this now, I you can see I've got my silicone crafting sheet underneath that helps protect my surface on which I stamp. Now we're going to take our Versamark ink pad and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to drag starting at the top and dragging across. Then we're going to go from the bottom and do the same thing. It's hard not to get my fingers in the way here. And then we're going to bring in our powder pal and some clear embossing powder. And we're just going to really dump that embossing powder all the way over that metallic cardstock with the leaves. And then what I like to do is turn it over and give it a couple swats from the back just to get any excess powder off that maybe is being a little bit stubborn. I'm gonna leave that in there because I'm going to need it later. Now we'll bring our silicone crafting sheet back in here and heat the clear embossing powder and you're gonna see that black really appear. I love how you can now see those black streaks showing up from the stays on ink. Then remember I said I'm going to use that shiny copper foil paper that we have. And I'm going to use the pumpkin from that stamp set that I showed you, the Hello Harvest. And I'm gonna ink up that pumpkin in stays on ink. And then I'm gonna stamp it right on the foil and just being a little bit careful not to let it shift as I apply pressure. And then as we remove that, you can see that beautiful black on the copper foil. And just a tip for you, I am gonna clean off my stamps right after I use them on the stays on ink because it can stain. You have to consider that stays on ink sort of like a Sharpie marker. It's going to stain whatever um, it touches and stay permanently. I'm going to bring in the big boss again. And this time I've got plate one, plate two, and then two plate threes. We're gonna put the nasty looking one on the bottom. <laughs> and then I'll grab the die that coordinates with the stamp, line it up there right in place, add my top plate and roll it out. Beautifully done. Now we are going to repeat that process of the black ice technique, starting with the stays on ink. So I'm just gonna brush it or slide it, glide it, drag it <laughs> across the pumpkin, starting from the bottom or the top and then moving to the bottom. And you can see there are some just some little black streaks in there as well as around those edges, which makes it look a little bit more rustic. So now I'm going to heat it really quickly to make sure that ink is dry. If it gets a little hot, you can use the tweezers um, that comes with, with our powder pal. And then you don't have to worry about getting your fingers burned while you're using the heat tool. Then we're going to go back to the Versamark. We're going to drag that down the same way, just as we did before. And then from the bottom up as well. And then remember how we left our embossing powder in here. Now we're just going to drag that pumpkin through
it's a little bit harder when you when you have an image not to touch those edges but I think I did okay so now we're gonna go ahead and heat that to reveal that black ice look Now that we've done that, we're gonna add some black curly cues. Remember I told you these are from the die set and I'm just gonna add these to my pumpkin. And we're gonna start with the one that's pretty straight. So it has three of them, which is nice because then if I cut out all three, I can use all three on this, on this project and all with one crank through the machine. So I'm gonna just tuck this one um, the end behind and let it trail down the pumpkin. I think it's really elegant in black. And then I'm gonna take this one and add that one to that same area of the pumpkin. Just a little bit of glue, and then we'll add that right up there and let it um, trail down the center. This one is gonna be a little bit different. I am going to add glue to that end there. And then I'm gonna tuck that under and let the top part come, come over the pumpkin. So that it looks like it's sitting on the ground with some of those vines curling up around it. Let's put the card together now using a piece of thick, very vanilla cardstock that is cut four and a quarter by 11 inches. I'm gonna fold that. I did score it in half. Look at, I got stays on all over. <laughs> That's okay. It's a little bit more of a messy technique. So four and a quarter by 11, fold it in half. And then we're gonna take our um, leaves here and add that to a piece of three and seven eighths inch square basic black. That just makes those leaves pop a little bit before adding it then to our very vanilla. So we'll do that next. Okay, and then before we do any more, we're going to stamp our sentiment, which is you are such a blessing. That also comes from the Hello Harvest stamp set. So we're gonna ink that up. This stamps really, really well in stays on ink. I'm gonna stamp it all the way down here on the bottom left portion of our card. And then there's a cute little stamp that creates a border. I have a hard time stamping it straight, but decided as I went that it's okay. It's super cute anyway, even though I can't get it straight. <laughs> and then I am gonna go off the edge so maybe I'll just um, stamp it on my grid paper then so that it goes off the edge. So it just creates a little bit of a border at the bottom. And then we're gonna add this gorgeous woven ribbon. This comes in the mini catalog as well. And we're just kinda gonna curl it a little bit so it's not quite so wide. And we're gonna bring that over the top of our card and tie it in a bow. So we're gonna um, tie it right into a bow and it's dreamy. I mean, it ties so easily. And then you can decide how long you want your loops and your tails. So keep in mind, you know, we don't wanna totally cover our sentiment. So if you, depending on how your, um, tails sit, you know, will help you decide where you want that bow to sit um, because you don't want it to totally cover your sentiment. And we'll trim those ends down at an angle. I recently had a friend of mine sharpen one of my um, paper snips. This clearly is not the sharp one. <laughs> then we're going to add dimensionals to the back of our pumpkin. And I'm just going to add dimensionals um, just in the top two thirds maybe because the rest of it will sit over that ribbon. So now we'll pop that right into place 
here. And we've got ourselves a super cute card. I love the black ice technique. Um, the one that we made um, back several years ago was done with the silver foil paper. This one is done with the um, brushed metallic and then, of course, the copper. So they're all different things you can do with that technique. And like I said, check out my blog post for the written instructions on that if you would like to uh, save those. And you will also see the details of this card there on that blog post as well. And again, you can find that link in the description of the video. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you next time for another technique, paper pumpkin project, or my upcoming 12 projects of Christmas.